Hello, Brendan Raymond here. I don't know. I haven't got this planned. Um, so this is going to be interesting to see how this goes. I wanted to talk about something that I have struggled with for all of my life. As far as I know, as far as I can remember, this is something that I have struggled with since day one, pretty much. And that has been loneliness. Loneliness is something that I've struggled with in, in many ways, in many forms, and that has been my the, the hardest battle that I've had, the thing that has influenced so many other things in my life that has spiralled off so many of, of the other things that I've had to battle against, um, and that has led to, you know, the... the <laughs> most of th things going wrong in my life or things going badly has has been because of that um, and, and because of my ever-present struggle with, with loneliness um, and it started you know like I said I, I struggled with it for my, all my life and it, it's it, I think the way it started was with, with a feeling of, of course of, of feeling different um, you know, there, there were things about myself that I was like, you know, no one else thinks this way. No one else feels this way. This is, this is, this is just me. No one else understands this. No one else is like this. And no one else is, is going to, to understand or no one else is, is going to comprehend, um, what, what this is like for me. Um. And, and so that's what started that feeling of loneliness. Um, and, and over time, there were people that were that was like, oh, maybe they understand, or maybe they know. Um, but, but in the end, it was always like, they're not really. A few years ago, things kind of turned on their head. Um, I, th I think I've talked about this in another video, but um, the question of Asperger's first came up for um, my brother and then for my father and finally for me. And at, at the time we didn't know anything about it. We had never heard of Asperger's before. Or I'm guessing my parents might have, but I had never heard of it before. I didn't understand what it was. Um, but from what my parents told me, I was like, oh, I don't really think so. I don't, I don't really know. Um, but I was like, oh, you know, better find some more about, a bit more about this sort of thing. So eventually I went along to this um, talk that um, an expert was doing in the field. Um, this is, you know, the expert in Australia, Tony Atwood. Um, he's, he's like the foremost thinker on Asperger's, um, as far as I know, anyway. Um, I think also widely respected around the world. You know, he, um, he was he was doing a talk on, on Asperger's right where we lived in Campbelltown, which was handy. Um, and one of the topics that he focused on was actually Asperger's in girls and how it presents differently because often it's picked up more in, in guys than in girls because it's a lot more obvious and girls can hide it better, etc, etc, etc. And it presents in different ways and all that sort of thing. Um, and as he was talking about it, because, you know, I'd, I'd done a little bit of research by then, but I'd gone, oh, no, that's not me. No, that's not me. Oh, kind of, maybe. Um, but as he was talking about Asperger's and girls, I'm like, that makes sense, that makes sense, that makes sense. But he, he was ticking all the boxes. And I was like, what is this? It was seriously scaring me. Like, my whole world was literally turning upside down. Like, my understanding of the world was like, hang on, what? You're, you're describing things about me that no one else has understood that this is, this is, what is this 
and you're reading my mind. Um, and then and I talk to him briefly afterwards, and I'm like, you know, I, 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 I checked all the boxes for, you know, girls with Asperger's, well, what is this? Um, and he's like, yeah, that, that happens sometimes. Um, the term he used was soft Aspies, um, which I rather liked. I haven't found the term anyway, so I'm assuming that that's just something that he kind of coined and hasn't really been used anywhere else um, properly. But that was the first time that I was like, hang on, these things that I've thought, oh, they're, they're me and no one else will understand. That's Asperger's, that's Asperger's, that's Asperger's. And I was able to go, actually, um, this this isn't just me, I'm not alone in this. Um, and, but I know that at the moment that that loneliness is still something that I struggle with and still something that I'm, I'm fighting against even now um, in different ways and in different shapes, but it, that is very real and very present for me and something that that is easily able to bring me to tears when I find it physically difficult to cry. Um, not because I think that crying is a bad thing or because I'm like, I don't want to cry. I just find it physically difficult. Um, but talking about that, talking about loneliness, to someone like if someone was here and I was having this conversation, it's quite possible that I'd be crying right now. Um, but I'm talking to a screen instead, and so I'm not. Um, but I, I suppose I wanted, I wanted to do this video and I wanted to talk about this because I think there are probably other people out there who have this same struggle. Maybe you have this same struggle with loneliness. Maybe you also have Asperger's. Maybe you don't have it in the way that I do. Everyone's different, you know. <laughs> um, particularly when it comes to Asperger's, everyone presents differently and it's weird. Mind things, oh yay. My, my screen has decided to go walkie bys. Give me a second, there we go. Okay, we're back. It's, it's different for everyone, but I suppose I wanted to do this to say that you are not alone and I can't say that I understand exactly what you're going through or exactly what is happening for you, but perhaps I understand a little bit more than you think people might be able to. And it's it's okay. It's it's okay. Um, and if if this is something that you're going through, I'd love to have a conversation with you. If if that is something that you're struggling with, because I think it's really important that we connect with other people in this. That we don't just keep like little islands because. You know, no man should be an island. We can try to be sometimes, um, but I don't think it's very helpful or very healthy. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm doing this as a way of, of reaching out to other people who are struggling with this to say, hey, it's not just you. This is me too. I'm, I'm struggling with this. I'm fighting this or trying to, um, often failing miserably but trying still um, and you don't have to fight this by yourself so that's it for me for now um, and yeah you're not alone